this is the bar stool that I'm going to try and convert. I only bought it a few weeks ago. It's really good quality and I think it cost me about £40. So I'll leave a link in the video description below if you're interested in buying the same one. And my idea is I'm going to try and convert it into a smart store so it can rotate left and right and also stop using voice commands with my Echo Dot. And I'm also going to use my old Amazon, sorry, my old Epson inkjet printer and I'm going to try and get some parts out of that. I know it's got quite a few cog wheels and motors. So let's see if I can achieve the outcome. This is the cogwheel and motor I'm going to use to rotate my bar stool. As I haven't got any specialist cutting tools, I decided to remove the inner plastic of the cog using my soldering iron, and I had my extractor fan on full blast to remove the toxic plastic fumes. After some fine adjustments with my soldering iron, I achieved a reasonably good snug fit on the bar stall leg. I then attached the Epson printer motor with sticky tape and cardboard padding to line up the motor spindle with the cog wheel. I was surprised to find out that the Epson printer motor is rated at 42 volts. Would it work with my 12 volt power supply and would it rotate the bar stall? Connect it up to a 12 volt supply. And as you can see, my hands are here, it does indeed work. And if I change the polarity, although the motor managed to rotate the bar stall, I quickly found out that it wasn't nearly strong enough to rotate it with me sitting on it. So it was time for plan B. I needed a higher torque motor and I found one on Amazon which looked ideal for the job. A 12 volt geared motor with a load torque of 10 kilograms per centimetre and a low RPM. I needed to make the cogwheel more secure as it was starting to slip when I tested the high torque motor with somebody sitting on the stool. Here are the two supports that I'm going to use to clamp the motor to the bar stool. I then glued the high torque motor onto one of the wooden supports with epoxy resin. This is the rotation speed. Uh, when it's been supplied with a 12 volt current, and this is my transformer, it's off an old Como drill. Good. After my latest test, I decided to glue two more wooden supports onto the clamp to make the motor more secure and align better with the cog wheel. When testing the stall, I also need to leave a small gap between the cog wheel and the motor spindle as the stall sinks slightly due to gas compression when somebody sits on it. To control the bar stall motor with voice commands, I need to use this Wi-Fi module which I can program to work with the Amazon Echo Dot. Relays connected to the Wi-Fi module enable the 3.3 volt output signals from the Wi-Fi module 
to control the larger 12 volt voltage needed to power the barstool motor. Here is a small section of code that I use to program the chip on the Wi Fi module. Now we can test the completed electronic circuit with my old Epson printer motor before I connect it to the bar stall motor. Hey Alexa, rotate left on. Okay. Hey Alexa, rotate right on. Okay. Hey Alexa, rotate off. Okay. So let's see if Mr. Sausage Dog or Sausage Pig can be rotated with my smart stall and using voice commands with the, my Echo Dot. So here we go. Hey Alexa, rotate left arm. Hey Alexa, rotate right on. Okay. Hey Alexa, rotate off. Okay. Hey Alexa, rotate left on. Okay. And it works. Hey Alexa, rotate off. Okay. Hey Alexa, rotate right on. Okay. So there you go, it does indeed work with my weight. Hey Alexa, rotate off. Hey Alexa, rotate off. Okay. Sometimes Alexa doesn't understand my voice. But there you go success.